Hello everyone and a very warm welcome. In this tutorial series, we will learn about office add-ins. My name is Clavin. I'm a solutions engineer at Nutrient.io. I'm also a Microsoft MVP and the leader of PPUG.org. So before we get into developing the office add-ins, I'll tell you something that I'm really passionate about. I'm passionate about building the community, helping people adopt to new technologies. So PPUG.org is basically a Power Platform user group. We focus on Power Platform, but if you see this tutorial series is not about Power Platform, it's about Office Add-ins. So we do more than Power Platforms, we talk about AI. I would say that if you're interested, do join our user group. It's in the Power Platform community. And if you're passionate about speaking or sharing the knowledge, go ahead and fill up a session and we are more than happy to host you. You just need to fill up this Microsoft form. That being said, uh, every community or every user group needs a sponsor and Nutrient is a proud sponsor. If you don't know about Nutrient, Nutrient delivers the building blocks to accelerate digital transformation for modern businesses. We provide tools for SharePoint, Power Automate, Salesforce, even for office add-ins if required. Uh, you should visit the website. Enough of me talking about the user group. I hope that you would join and contribute. I'll be more than happy to assist if you have any questions about the user group, but you can DM me on LinkedIn. Let's look at the office add-in. So what are office add-ins? Office add-ins is basically, as the name suggests, an add-in within the office applications. When I say the office applications, an add-in can be in Outlook, PowerPoint, Excel, OneNote, Project, etc. These add-ins are basically built using the web technologies, such as HTML, CSS, JavaScript. So if you're familiar with this stack, you are already at the right place. If not, go ahead and use AI and get familiar with the technology stack. So now that you know what uh, technology stack you need to use, the next thing is understanding how it works. So office add-ins are basically, you can think of an iframe or an embedded website with your office application, which can interact with your documents and the contents in your document as well. So when you think about all of this, you can think that it has endless possibilities. At the end of this tutorial series, I'll show you some practical use case on how you can use Office Add-ins, which will get you more productive when using your Office applications, be it in M365 or be it client applications on your desktop. Finally, uh, the Office Add-in works across multiple platforms, Windows, Mac OS, iPad, and also in the browser. So before building, the first thing that we need to know is the tooling. So basically we need to have NPM. We'll be using the Yeoman generator for this particular tutorial series. Okay. Secondly, you need an M365 subscription because you are building up Office add-in. So you need Office applications, which run on cloud as well as on your desktop application. You need a code editor for this demo. Or for this tutorial series, we are going to use Visual Studio Code. Then for testing and debugging, you should have an Office application running on your computer. So you need to have a version of Office running on your computer. Finally, when you plan to deploy it, you should know about a hosting provider. You can use the Azure Web Apps or the Azure website to host the Office add-ins. As I told you, Office add-ins are primarily, you can think of it as an iframe or an Office web app or a web application running within your Office application that can interact with your documents. So this is important because once you build it, 
you need to go ahead and deploy it somewhere. Now, if you are not familiar or if you don't have access to Azure, you can also use Versal or any third party to do it. But for the sake of this series, we'll be using Azure. And that's pretty much it. Let's get into the Office add-in development. So I'm on my desktop computer and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a favorite code editor that is Visual Studio Code. Before even running anything in the terminal, let me quickly go to the website and let me show you the reference article, right? So first I have a standard NPM installed, right? A node installed on my computer. Once I have the node installed, I need to install Yeoman. How do I install Yeoman generator? I type in npm install dash g yo office. Okay, I just need to go ahead and paste it in and hit enter. I already have it installed, not going to go ahead and install it again. Once you have this installed, all you need to do is run your office. So let's run your office and let's build our office project. If you see, it first will ask you about the type of project. For this particular series, let's create a task pane project supporting single sign-on. Okay, we will look at single sign-on as well because it's a point that you want to deploy the office application into your environment and the single sign-on I think is the best way to do it. So we we'll use JavaScript. Let's keep it simple. I'll say demo add-in. Uh, you can create Excel, Outlook, PowerPoint, but I'll select Word. At this point, it will create all the files automatically, which will be used in our project. So it's building the project. It's known as demo add-in. And if you look at this, it's doing an NPM install. That means it's installing all the required dependencies. Perfect. So congratulations, your add-in has been created. What is the next step? I need to do a CD. So I'll quickly copy it. I'll do a CD. And we are going to do SSO. So I'm going to run npm run configure SSO. Understand this. This is required for deployment purposes. And SSO is the best way because it's single sign on. You can just use it in your office applications, right? So let's configure SSO as well. So if everything works as expected, it should prompt me for login. So I'm just waiting for that. In the meantime, let me keep my credentials handy. Perfect. It has prompted me for a username and password. It's on another screen. So this is what the prompt looks like. And I need to make sure that I can actually log in. So let me quickly copy my credentials. Let me type in my top secret password. Need to dodge the mic, which is on the in my way. So just going to do that. Oops, I don't remember the password. So let me go ahead and drag it to another screen. Fat fingers today. Perfect. So it is asking me for the authenticator app and I don't have the app. So I'll pause the video and I'll authenticate and get back within a second or two. Perfect. So after hunting for my mobile, I'll put in the code, which is 82 and it should let me in. Perfect. I'll say just log into this particular app. So if you see it opened Azure, so technically it's going into my M365 environment and it is actually creating an app registration behind the scene, which will help me with SSO. Right. So let's see. Let's wait. Perfect. So the app secret has been created and the application ID is this. So let me actually quickly go into the app registrations and let me see. So this is my app registration. And if you see, this has created an office add-in. It's just like any other app, app registration. It will have API permissions, right? It has user.read. So the app registration has been created. So that's wonderful. So next, what we need to do is we need to test if our project works. So what I'm going to do, npm start. 
Now at this point, it should go ahead and launch my office application and it should show me the office added. Perfect. So it has launched, it's trying to launch the application. If you see, I have a window that has been popped up. And if you see, it's also popped up this particular pane, right? It's showing me show task pane. This is our own office add-in that we use at Nutrient. But if you look at this, the text is not good. So let me actually change my theme for my computer. So turn on the light mode, right? It's still not good, but it's all right. But when I click on this button, it clearly tells me that it can log in my username and my email address. If I click on it again, the theme updates. So this is your first office add-in, simple enough. You have your app registration, you have configured your project. You can also log in the current user name for the office application that is Claven.Fernandez at the rate blah, 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 dot on Microsoft.com, right? In the next tutorial, we'll actually go ahead and explore our project and dive in more into office add-ins. See you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.